Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking Transformer review because I love some freaking Transformers. And today we'll be taking a look at Jada or Jada, however you want to say it. Jada Toys or Jada Toys. Uh, this is Optimus Prime. This is their kind of, uh, I think it's 124 scale, I think it was. I did a review for the G1 version. Uh, I'll put that up there and I'll put it in the description if you want to go check that out. Uh, these are non-transforming. Um, I think this thing is over two years old. I just now first saw it in Target and it was like $25. I was like, this is pretty, pretty cool. So what I did with the, what I'm going to do with the G1, I'm going to put it with my MP44 or MP10. And then I'll probably do this one with, um, I have a 3.0 Optimus Prime I could do. This is from the 07 movie, uh, 2007, or you could use it for the uh, 2009 Revenge of the Fallen. I guess you could. It doesn't matter. Uh, use it for whatever you want. Uh, but I think this is the 2007 version of Optimus Prime from the Bayverse and everything so yeah i'm going to display it you know put it next to the you know the 301 and uh make a little display like i'm gonna do with the uh, g1 version too so there you go here's the box optimus prime it's got diecast jada jada whatever you want to say there's optimus prime right there which is kind of the g1 version they did with it. it's kind of weird um but there you go transformers up there and you got the side right there looks pretty good nice chrome i like that looks good and here is the back and like i said it doesn't transform just the vehicle mode and you got the little little you know Optimus Prime right there. So that's pretty cool. At least they got the uh, Bayverse one right there. That's pretty cool. Underneath some stuff and then Optimus Prime right there. All right. So um, I'm going to try to get this guy open. I think like the G1 that looks like they're in right there. You have to unscrew some stuff that are screwed in right there. So I'm going to um, unscrew that and get this guy out and we'll take a quick look at him. Okay, real quick, I just want to show you when I got about the package. He looks great in the package. If you want to display it like that, if you can find another one. Um, but it's got some nice artwork in there. You know, Optimus Prime, all that good stuff. And underneath, uh, like I said, you have to unscrew. There's two screws right here. You have to unscrew those to get this out of there. So that's pretty cool. But I just want to show you what's inside the box and everything. It looks pretty cool. It says Transformers. So very nicely done. I like that. So there, let me get them out of the box and uh, we'll talk about Optimus Prime. All right, and here is Optimus Prime out of this box. Now, what you can do, like I said, you have the two screws on the bottom. Uh, they go into there, right there on the box. You can, you know, screw them back in and display them in the box if you want to. So that's a great option and everything. So there he is, and I think he looks freaking awesome. Really nicely done, man. Love all the chrome and the paint. Then you got chrome for the sm uh, smokestacks, the steps, these little uh, side mirrors. They're a little loosey-goosey. This part right here, I don't, know, I, I don't know, I guess it's like a windshield guard or something. This came off. So I'm going to have to probably super glue that in, you know, probably back that because it, it pops off a little bit easier. You got the tanks and everything looks good. Chromed out rims. So that looks nice. And you got the front, which is beautiful. Got the nice rivets right here on this side and the little and the little right here. So nice texture right there. Love the chrome. Love the Autobot symbol right there. Got the nice chromed out uh, headlights. Then you got this nice, beautiful red paint. It is, and I love how the gold, the yellow gold kind of fades into it. I love that. I love when Hasbro does that stuff or anybody third party. They got the blue flames. Looks really nicely done. Got the red flames and the foghorn uh, thing or fog lights up here. That is nice. That's blended into the blue plastic. Got the nice red flames right here. Looks good. Now you can open up the door and it will show like, a, you know, the steering wheel and the seat. Some nice interior. Got the nice dashboard. You do got some stuff on the dashboard so that's a nice little touch i like that you can open up both doors then on the back once again the rivets nicely painted and then here you got the back and you got the nice red and you got the blue flames you know uh going into there you do get little fingerprints on there so just be aware of that but nice done oh the tires uh they are rubber tires so that is really nice got the nice hitch so if you want to put um a uh, trailer you can have a choice to do that as well i did the g1 you could put the uh, mp44 or mp10 one you can put that on there so very nice and on this side nice chrome all this is chromed out looks great once again on the same side all right so underneath like i said you do get to see optimus prime he is painted i love the autobot symbol it's nice silver looks good you got the red and blue paint you got the flames right there uh, like i said this was made in 2022 so yeah about two years old uh, made in china so that's pretty cool but that's a nice little option right there. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. It rolls just fine. Looks great. Love it. Everything like I said. It looks good. I mean, I cannot wait to, uh, you know, have, uh, you know, my 3.0 Prime next to him. Like I'm going to do the G1. I'm going to, you know, display it with that. I think that's not, that'll be a nice little display and everything. So 
There you go. That is Jada Toys. This is the 2007 Optimus Prime from Bayverse. And man, I like it. I love the chrome and the paint looks really good. All right, there is Fans Toys Jazz, and you got Alternator's Hot Rod. Like I said, he is 124 scale. I think that was. I think that's what the uh, uh, G1 was. So just to give you a little scale right there, there is the Jazz. He's pretty long, so long and strong. But I guess friction on, and there is Hot Rod from Alternator's. Just to give you kind of a scale for him and everything. So pretty neato potato. And there's Crapper Gun, his crappy tool paper, AAA battery, car mix, care bears, kick and squeaks, more scale. Real quick, I know that's MP44, the G1 Optimus Prime. I don't have my 3.0 um, Prime out right now, but to show you a little scale of how, like I said, I want to display it, and I'm going to put the 3.0 behind it and have this in front of it. Like I said, I'm going to do that with the G1, and I think it's going to be a nice little display. So there you go. Just want to show you what they, uh, how it scales and everything. The 3.0 is going to be bigger than that uh, MP44. So I think it's going to look pretty cool. Well, hey, there, everybody, if you made it this far, as always, I appreciate that. All right. Final thoughts on the Jada or Jada toys. This is Optimus Prime from the 2007, you know, movie from Bayverse. Overall, I like it. I really do. It looks great. This plays well. Love the chrome. Love the paint. Um, you know, little features in here, you know, with the opening the doors and everything. Looks good. I love the front, man. Looks really good with that Autobot symbol. Looks nice. And you have the underneath if you want to do it like that. But I really do. I like the rubber tires and everything. Um, it doesn't transform. Like I said, I'm going to use it for a display. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Like I said, I have the G1 version. And I'm going to display with that uh, with either MP10 or MP44. And I'm going to display this one with probably one of my three zero Optimus Browns from Bayverse or something. And I think it'd be a really cool display. You know, just have this in the front and then have him, you know, transform as a bot mode. I think it'd be really cool. So, yeah, I got this at Target. I know it's, you know, like I said, it's been out for about two years. Uh, I never saw one. I, I saw the G1, you know, about, about a year or two ago as well. But I never got to, I uh, never saw this one. So, saw it in Target and thought, you know. Why not? 25 bucks. I think it'd be a pretty, pretty cool display space and everything. So, yeah, very nice. I like it. Looks good. The uh, only issue I have is just this little front piece right here. Uh, I had to glue that or something on there. So, yeah. All right. Well, hope you like that little small, you know, little quick review. Hope you like that. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. And hit me up some comments. And uh, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And follow me, you know, go to my Discord if you want to. Uh, have fun. We have fun there. You know, chit chat about stuff, anything you want to. Transformers. Whatever you want to talk about, we can talk about. So, yeah, and, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next uh, Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. And help freaking Transformers, and help freaking Optimus Prime, and the Bayverse, and Jada Toys, Jada Toys, however you want to say it. And Transformer allowed. Yeah, good night, folks.